Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the Grizzly Digital Network as we're joined now by our Grizzly of the Day and Nikki Cook. Nikki, mm, that is not a warm hand that you just <laughs> shook mine with. It's Have cold. you ever played in conditions like that? I'm sure you've played in colder conditions, but the wind was 40 and 50 miles an hour out there. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, not at all. I've been in the cold, but the wind was unbelievable. What's the hard part about it, about playing in that type of wind? Um, especially in the outfield when a ball comes off the bat and high in the air, you don't know where it's going. You really, don't, you just got to keep moving with the ball and keep your feet moving. And other than that, you don't know where it's dropping. We're going to talk about center field in a minute. But for the time being, let's talk about your performance at the plate. I got you down for three for five. Four more stolen bases, three more runs scored, more and more hits. So you're leading the NAI in all three of those categories. A, did you know that? And B, at what point do you kind of go, wow, this is this is pretty kind of special? Do you just kind of ignore it and just keep going? How does that work? Yeah, well, my dad is always right in my ear, just, you know, this is what you're leading in, this is what you're leading in. I don't like to hear it, you know, okay. because I don't like the attention. But, you know, it's cool to hear. It, it, it really is. But I try to just play my game and let it all work out and – what is your game? Because we see it up here, and it's when the ball hits the bat, you're safe at first, basically, is how we see it. But, like, there's a little bit of strategy, too, where you put the ball and how you swing. Sometimes you slap, sometimes you swing. Talk to me a little bit about that. Um, well, mainly I look at the corner infielders and see if they're far back enough, and I'll probably lay a bump down. And if um, the outfield is close up, then I'm going to try and swing it and go for a triple or maybe in the park home run again. That was pretty <laughs> cool. Um, but, um, you know, it all just compen like depends on the um, defense and how they're playing and just go by there. You scored a big run back in the third inning. Nice hook slide at home there to give the Grizzlies a 3 nothing lead. It would hold on to a 3-2 lead. Let me give you these two numbers. Which one's more impressive to you? 36 wins for the Grizzlies this season or the fifth-ranked team in the nation? I think they're both pretty cool. It's it's uh, it's hard to pick. It really is. But I think being unbeaten because I hate losing. I like it. And um, so it just says that, like, we have a great team and we always come together as a team and get the big win. Uh, two great pitching performances, too, as well. Chelsea Palazzo, a, a shortened five-inning shutout. Taylor Hansis gets in a little bit of a jam in the seventh, but well enough to pitch out of it. What's it look like out there in center field with them two guys throwing strikes in there? Well, it looks great, and, I mean, they're two great pitchers, and they keep doing their job, and knowing that we have a great defense behind them, I'm sure it makes it a little easier. And knowing that, you know, you have double play after double play, and you have an outfield that has speed, and, you know, it's just makes – I feel like it makes it easier for them to throw strikes, and they continue to do their job, and it makes it easier for us to do ours. And the Grizzlies really clicking on all cylinders right now here. They, they come back from the split versus Birmingham Southern, get a sweep here today versus uh, Truett McConnell. You're going to hit the road on Saturday against Talladega, a quick road trip. Then you guys will be back here at home on Sunday versus Bethel. And, again, this is part of that season. You've been a part of the college softball. Is this where you start to look forward to the postseason, hit your stride a little bit here as we yeah. uh, move out through the month of April? Oh, yeah. it's It's been a long season, but it's been really fun, and I feel like we, this team is going to go really far. Yeah, we're looking forward to uh, watching your guys' journey throughout the rest of the season. But for today, we celebrate Nikki Cook and the Grizzlies' performance, and with that comes some shout-outs. <laughs> Look right in the camera there all day. Um, Shout-out to my parents for sitting in this freezing weather, and I know it's miserable because my mom hates being the cold. Um, Shout-out to Booger Butt for being out here, and – Shout out to Ray Ray for the dingers. Shout out to Shira. Um, yeah. I, I think they've all left. They've, they've all went back to the Yeah, it's too it's cold. So cold. Uh, <laughs> I love you, Ray. <laughs> Top of the lineup there. Shout out Shout to, out to Shira. Shira's still <laughs> hanging out in there, too, as well. Nikki, congratulations again. Thank you. So they'll do it here from Lawrenceville Grizzlies. Sweep the doubleheader versus the Bears by final scores of 8 to nothing and 3 to 2.